This tutorial isn't really a tutorial, it's just a way to learn from a tutorial, if that makes sense. Um, basically, I get a lot of questions and uh, every day from uh, my videos, and I've had a number of requests for Vim tutorials. Vim is the text editor that I commonly use, and I'm going to be 100% honest. It is a very, very powerful text editor, but I know the very, very basics of it. And I uh, wish that I knew more and there is a way to simply learn more for all of us and it's something I've gone through once or twice uh, but it's just one of those things you have to use regularly to get used to and basically if once you have Vim installed which if you're running Ubuntu or Linux Mint uh, by default Vim is not installed Vim.tiny is installed go ahead and install Vim using sudo aptitude install Vim hit enter, type in your password, and it will download and install. Once Vim is installed, Vim comes with a little tutorial file. And if you just type Vim Tutor on the command line and press enter, it brings you into Vim and into a text file, which is not just a file that tells you how to do stuff, it allows you to do it right in this text since it's a text editor. Um, so you can go through these lessons, and here's an example. I'll do lesson uh, 1.3, and it's simple deletion. Press X to delete the character under the cursor. So it tells me to move my cursor to the line below marked with the dash 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 uh, greater than symbol, the little arrow here. So I'll go to that. It says to fix the errors, move the cursor until it is on top of the character to be deleted. Press X press the X key to delete the unwanted character, like so. And I can delete that character, and delete that character, and delete that character, and so forth and so on. And if you go through all the tutorials in order, they really build up. It's, it's, it's really a, a long tutorial file, and it gets a lot more powerful than just deleting some single characters like that. But this is a great way to learn Vim and go through all of its features. And um, as it says towards the top of the file, it says, while you're going through this, do not try to memorize what you're doing. Try to learn by doing, which is what's so great about this tutorial, because it's a tutorial on text editor, and the whole tutorial is inside the text editor. Um, so my recommendation, if you want to learn Vim, me doing tutorials on it, you know, I'll do some basic stuff, but me doing tutorials on it isn't going to help you because Vim is definitely one of those things you need to learn by doing. So go through this tutorial a number of times until you have it down and you know what you're doing. That's it. Have a great day.